Today on Nature's Always Right, I'm gonna show you how to build this trellis that's going to last forever for you. Show you how to plant and train tomatoes, talk about loofah and some other vining crops, and just this amazing product that I built this with called Maker Pipe. And some of the many options that we have to build with this, you guys know that I love EMT. It's a material that's made from a galvanized steel. You can do anything with it. And now with Maker Pipe, we can build almost any structure out of it. I have a lot of plans for this. I built other things like my shade structure using it. And really it's just up to your imagination of what you can do with this. So many of you have probably seen my wooden trellis with aircraft line that I did my lower and lean system on, which I still think is a great system, but I've always been interested in EMT because it will not rust, it will last for decades, it's just so reusable, um, but the thing that prevented me was a way to connect it in a strong way. Maker Pipe solved that issue, it's made in America. The steel is made in America, so I'm so happy to, to be supporting them. You can check out the link down in the description and you can get um, a free little model set that they'll send you for free if you use the code Nature's Always Right. And then you can build out whatever you're dreaming up with these models first so that you know exactly what you need to order from them. For my design of how I wanted to set this up, I wanted to have two rows of vining crops uh, that I could do lower and lean on. You should check out my video on lower and lean here, but what lower and lean is, it's a greenhouse technique that um, I've adapted to do outside, anywhere that has a long growing season of like six months or more, I think it's worth it to set up a lower and lean if you plant early in the season, because you guys know when your cucumbers, your tomatoes, whatever, the loofah, it gets to the top, there's nowhere else for it to go and it wants to keep going up, it's gonna fall down and then the plant just never grows as good. So we use these tomahooks to pull this off. These are inexpensive and all you need to do um, is unwind the plant a little bit more, the plant will fall down, you shift it down and then you continue on like that until it's a big carousel. So that's the purpose of this design. If you wanna do just a single row of vegetables in your bed, I have seen people do a single EMT with horizontal pieces going across, check out Maker Pipe's website. I'll put a link down for it because they have this awesome resource of all these different people that have created their own projects and then they upload that to their website. So anybody can get on there and go see a previous build and just copy it. So it's fantastic. My structure, it uses a little bit more pieces than some other ones that might be out there, but this allows me to do my lower lean. It's completely structurally sound. I used three quarter inch EMT, uh, but you can use half inch and that's gonna save you a bunch of money on the connectors and the EMT pieces. Unfortunately, EMT has gone up, probably it's doubled in price since you know years ago when I used to buy it, but it does last forever and that's the benefit of it. So we're super excited about what's growing here. This is Lufa, and Lufa is a plant that when it dries out, the fruit dries out, it becomes a sponge. And many of you guys have seen this or you use this for yourself. So we're excited because we're gonna get rid of all of our sponges that we use for dishwashing, no more plastic. Um, our body scrubbers, that's what this is gonna be now. So we have so, I mean, I don't know how many plants we did. We probably did about four or five plants, but like the amount of loofah that we're gonna get from this is incredible. So these are the three parts that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some T connectors. You'll need the structural 90 for the corners. This is the structural 180. So the vertical piece goes down, the two 10 feet pieces go into the sides. The EMT slides into here. When you tighten this bolt down, it compresses around the EMT and you get a secure connection. So the horizontal piece that I have going across, it's using a structural 180 going down. The T connector goes on the top, leave a little bit of excess up here for it to grab onto. And then shoot the horizontal across. Now I did this because of worrying about sway. If there was a bunch of wind, it could easily knock over a wall of vines like that. Constructing this thing was pretty easy. I just took a T-post driver to drive it in the ground with a ladder, a little bit precarious, but able to get it in to get the horizontal piece in there. I measured the distance across and then cut my EMT with the cutter that's provided. It's pretty simple. Uh, the rest of the pieces are just 10 foot lengths that I connected in. 
I also built this trellis when I didn't have all the parts that I needed. And that's something else that really surprised me about Maker Pipe is that you can combine things in certain ways that you wouldn't think of. And I've even seen um, on the Maker Pipe Instagram, they've many times they've been like, oh my gosh, someone figured out a new way to use our product. So it's really up to your imagination. I'll show you over here. This is how I, this is not the best way. You should use these 180s, I think. But over there, I was able to use um, these ones to uh, make it all work, even though I didn't have all the parts. We'll be using tomahooks to attach our cucumbers and tomatoes. I'm just taking the tomahook, bending it out slightly, grabbing it long ways, bending it more, basically creating a 90. I'm grabbing as far up as I can and just bending it forward. Before I put them on the line, I remove the rubber band, remove the first five feet, and then hang it up. All right, you guys, so we're gonna prep this for planting. This one's a pretty easy one. It doesn't even have any suckers. So what I'm gonna do first is just remove the first set of leaves here up until it has about two or three sun leaf layers here. And the reason we're doing that is because you see all those little tiny white hairs. This is actually gonna become roots all along here. So if we bury this up to here, it's gonna give this plant way better root structure earlier on, which means you're gonna get a healthier, stronger, more vigorous plant earlier. Some of your transplants will have its first flower set, which will turn into the first tomatoes. Be sure to leave that on. I have experimented where I've removed that to see if it the plant would grow faster. That is not the case. So be sure to leave that on so you get fruit as soon as possible. So with the tomahooks, you have these little clips that go with them. Now, I had all this from my old farm, so you may not want to purchase all of these things for just like a home garden, but pick and choose what you'd like. You could just tie this to the bottom, but this is so much easier. The leader, of course, because it was laying on the ground, it, the leader always wants to go vertical. So, when it, so now the leader is kind of pointing this way. So this will figure out that it is in fact off the ground now and it's gonna adjust itself. So first thing I'll do is just remove the first two or three sun leaves. If you don't know what a sun leaf is, then uh, please go watch my tomato pruning and trellising videos because I'm going to teach you so that you never make another mistake on a sucker and you're able to make decisions like on a plant we have here. I have not trained these at all, but for some reason, this is where the leader should have gone. It should have gone off this way. Instead, it put it, the leader went up in a sucker location. So if you were following just your normal sucker instructions that someone might give you online, you would remove this, but that would be a huge mistake because then the plant has nowhere to go. What we're actually going to do is look at the full structure here. Where is my top, top leader? It's up here, which means this is a sucker. This is a sucker. And then up here, some varieties of tomatoes or sometimes a certain tomato, the genetics or for whatever reason, it will have a mistake. And this is kind of what's going on here. It is, I noticed that it is sending the leaders out of a crotch where that is 95% of the time this is a sucker but it's not if I look up here there is no central leader here so this is what's so important to fully understand the structure so instead of removing this because I don't believe I see one up here I'm gonna let everything grow out up here that way I'm safe no matter what so check out my tomato pruning pro video so the results of this trellis have been amazing I absolutely love it um, and this is something that I could leave permanently in my ground. That's something I'm really excited about. I don't have to take this down and put it up every season unless I want to. I could move it to another location. I could redesign it. I can take these parts completely apart. I mean, that's what I really like about the Maker Pipe system. So check them out down in the link in the description below. Check out all my other links if you want to support this channel at no cost to you and possibly get a discount.